Now let's talk about data or data as a whole in transport. Let's open our example map for Utah. And after you have your map open, the uh, first thing to choose is uh, which layer you're interested in. Uh, and black for you have two layers here, counties and rows. Roads layer, you select the roads layer and press this new data view uh, button. And this is what we're going to have. Pretty standard for uh, database viewing. We press arrow to the left and right to move, down, page down, page up, everything works, and home. So it's pretty, pretty standard. Um, here, in the bottom, you can see that we have 3,816 records for this database, and uh, it's worth to remember that each one of this of these uh, records correspond to a link. Each one corresponds to one specific link in this case, in the database, because it's a line layer. Um, so, first thing that we're going to do is, uh, I have too much stuff here, some fields are not really interesting, I want to select which fields uh, I'm going to uh, work with. Huh? Press this little button here, with the two columns, the checkpoint marks. Let's say that I'm not really interested in length, or let's keep length. Do Origin ID, let's drop this. State FP, let's drop this. Linear ID, let's drop that. And let's drop the last two. Let's keep name and length. ID, just. Okay, so well, here we have our clean. Um, in the previous case, let's, let's say we have all the fields again just accessing clean, selecting all, press OK. Let's say we want to work with, we want to analyze in terms of length, but when we move to the right, length uh, disappears, so you want to move length to the right. You just click the header, all the fields are going to be highlighted, you press the right, and it goes there. It doesn't change the data structure, it's just the view but you can do it. And let's suppose that now you want length to be analyzed against all the... you want length always uh, visible. So you click on that and click on this little lock here. It locks the column. So when you walk and you move right and left to see all your data views, all your data fields, uh, length will be locked. So, okay, let's unlock the guy. Unlock we're back to our uh, database. So, uh, one thing that you might not use for Miasma project, Miasma Beach project, but for bigger projects you're going to certainly use, is uh, to search. So, let's suppose I want to look for I-84 and I can always sort, selecting the column and sorting, down, up, up, down, whatever you want, or you can press search, find button, and you choose the field, on a search in full name, I-84, and look, there you go, I-84, we found for us. So, I'm going to press Control Home to go back to the beginning. I'm going to sort for ID again, just to have a little bit more organized for our purposes here. Uh, so, let's suppose you want to order now, let's look only order, and let's order by name, and after name, let's order the length too. So, you, we click first name, 
as the uh, main uh, sorting condition and length would be the secondary and press HZ sorts by one sorts by the second one and you can see for all those that had uh, empty names it started with the smallest uh, length and then keeps grown so it's indeed sorted so this guy for example here 100 east sorted within 100 east is sorted by length uh, you can use as many fields as you want uh, of course with bigger databases it might might be a little bit time consuming so um, now I think it's a good time to see data structures so with the data view open you click in the menu data view table structure so this is what we have our database is composed by these man fields as we can see here and ID is an integer of 4 bytes with length of 10 and, deci and 0 decimals but it is the index and length is a real, there is an integer, original is an integer, state of is character, linear ID is character, full name is character, RTTYP and MTFCC are also characters. And actually, if we look here, state FP looks like it's a number, but it's not, it's a character. So every time, every time you want to deal with it, we have to remember that it's a character. We can always convert to numbers, but for now, it's a character. Let's close it. And with the data view open, let's access data view, table structure, uh, modify table, sorry. So with modify table, here we can choose, oh, I state I have to be now I want to be real or integer or whatever. I'm not going to mess with this. I'm going to add a field. And this field is going to be called county. So I want character, let's say, name of the, the county cannot be more than 50. Let's say 50. In square. Okay. I'm going to ask us to confirm. There's no undo here. As the same way there, there's no one do when editing a map, there's no one do when editing a database as well. So press well, yes, so we just added the new field. So with this new field, uh, I'm going to illustrate how to edit a database. One possibility is just to type. So I'll go to that link, I'll find a thing. And I'm going to type, type county x because I know. And this change is there's no control. I'm pressing control Z here. And it's allowing, surprisingly, the previous versions of uh, Transcat didn't allow that. I don't know what, how big, uh, how many undos can you use. But I advise you not to. If somebody's using a previous version of Transcat 4.5, for example, it's not a, it's not possible. Um, another po another possibility is to fill this. Let's suppose I click with the left button on top of the name and press fill. I can clear, I can copy, I can paste, I can sort. I want to fill, fill. Let's suppose I want to fill the second value to the field. Just so people know that I still didn't work with this. Just to maybe another person that is going to use this. Or something like let's fill again with a formula. That is remember that length is uh, a number, it's not a string. So um, 
let's fill this field with a little text deadline always uh, in standard programming uh, syntax the length of this link is here there's a little operator for the function oh, sorry for the function there is string I'm gonna ask the string of the link so let's try before mm, only with like this it won't allow us so let's try like this and we press ok and there we go it's filled now, now let's fill it differently I want the county, right? So, what I want is to click on the right, press fill, and there's an option here, tag. What tag does? It looks like both uh, layers are drawn in, a, in transparent paper and look through the layers. So, I'm gonna and, and see what is in the other layer. So, I'm gonna tag using counties and I'm gonna look in the layer counties what is the name so for each link I'm gonna look through the layer link of links and see in the layer of counties what is the name of that county that is right behind the link it's worth to notice that if a link is starts in one county and finishes in the other county uh, this operation will fill the link with the name of the county that is uh, where the, the link has its, bigger, its biggest part and if the link is in three, four and counties it's going to fill the one in which the, the link has its biggest part so we press ok this operation takes some time ok now we have you know the county in which uh, link is so uh, if we go back to the map, we're just clicking on the map, we have our map tools back here, and let's press the info button, and let's ask this, let's get this, this link here, county, Thomas County, exact, exactly where it is, if we click another county, should work Park City, there you go, here, immigration, uh, perfectly right. I'm sorry for this. So uh, let's keep working on database. Uh, this is pretty much everything you need about uh, selection.